Right now, I just need you to get real loose. Get comfortable. I'll grab your love, partner. And if you're by yourself, no worries. Just follow after me. Come do the two still big cowboy baby. Grab a sweetheart and spin out, baby. I'm gonna go down and get it. Hey, what's happening, Facebook? How y'all doing? How's everybody? Hope everybody's good. Everybody doing well. Happy Sunday to you. Yes, it is. And it's yours truly, Longhorn the Comedian, 8 o'clock. Hi, brother, punctual. That's right. We're not on CPT. I'm right here, baby. And I uh, hope everybody had a great week. Looking at my screens, trying to get my stuff together, you know, uh, all that good stuff. So glad to see y'all. Thank y'all for joining me. Had a great week. I know I keep saying that, but I did. I just did. I hope you did, too. Because uh, honestly, you know, if things ain't great, then I guess you need to find a way to make them great. I guess, you know, that kind of thing. You know, it's, it's on you. It's on you, you know. So anyway, I got to say, what the hell? What the hell? Longhorn? Really? Kobe Bryant died? Really? Come on, man. Kobe Bryant? Wow. God bless his soul. God bless his family. You know, that's a terrible thing, man. Uh, he right there with, you know. With uh, I'm sorry, LeBron, he cool, but he right there with uh, nah, Dr. J and and Larry and uh, what's his name, uh, Larry Bird and and uh, Abdul is Kareem Jabbar. Okay, let's not forget uh, uh, Ballhead Jordan. Yeah, he right there with them. He one of the greats. So God bless him, man. So y'all tired of seeing them waste our money on TV? Yeah. Y'all know I don't do politics, but uh, yeah, they wasting our money on TV because we already know how that's going to turn out. So, hey, I ain't no hater. I'm just saying what it is. That's all. In the meantime, let me look into my magic mirror. got to put my glasses on so I can look at my magic mirror and see what's happening. What's up, Roger? Dave, I see you. Charlotte, I see you. Nanette, I see you. Bob, I see you. Thank y'all for joining me this evening. I'm sure we'll have some more pop in as we go. I'm getting better at this. We are now on episode 20. Yeah, episode 20, which is kind of cool. I, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. I uh, started this thing. Wasn't sure how far we was going to go or what we was going to do or what we was going to talk about. And uh, still not day to day, you know, but I know I enjoy doing it, working on, it's been looking at some different software so I can bring other people in and that kind of stuff. This stuff ain't cheap, bro. I mean, this, this software, it ain't cheap. It want a hundred dollars a month to do this. I'm like, are you serious? Do you know what I could do with a hundred dollars a month? Jesus Christ, you know, but anyway, I ain't complaining about all that. I'm just happy to be here and glad y'all are here. Thank y'all for joining me, being a part of uh, what the hell Longhorn. So my uh, topic this week, man, is motivation. We can all use a little motivation in life, right? I know I can. I, I'm sorry. I I have, uh, I, I uh, used to be the kind of guy that used to be able to burn I was told I could get 26 hours out of a day and eight days uh, out of a week because I used to run. I stayed motivated. I stayed moving. And then I had those heart attacks, two of them, and that slowed the brother down a whole lot. Yes, it did. But I st I'm still motivated to do the things that I need to do in my life. But at the same time, I've slowed down a little bit. So I guess I've moved my motive. I guess I've moved some things around in my life, and I'm motivated by certain things that take precedence. I guess you could say. But I know we could all use a little motivation. I know as we get older, motivation becomes a little harder. You know, it's hard. It's, it's harder to to get moving sometimes. Hence motivation. But it's uh it's hard to get moving. Yeah, you know, motorized, which is not uncommon. It's just really not. You know. But sometimes we have to look at what are our motivations. What motivates us to get up and do the things that we need to do to be where we need to be to to take care of the people that we need to take care of motivations so i asked a question on facebook put my glasses back up we uh i asked a question on facebook earlier today and some of y'all was nice enough to chime in uh i asked the question what motivates you on a daily basis and i got 21 responses to that and um a lot of them was one of my favorites is michelle moore she said to be a better version of me today than i was yesterday i do that too so yeah i like that one a fiery passion do anything except what I am supposed to be doing. <laughs> okay. That makes sense too. 
Marvin, my, uh, another comedian friend of mine says, waking up every day knowing I have breath, then everything else falls into place. I have to agree with him. Because man, if you if you wake up, that right there is the gravy. I mean, that's just that's just the meat and the potatoes right there. Whatever else happens after that is just gravy. Some of y'all, you know, heard me say, people will ask me, hey man, how you doing? I'll say, I'm just shy of awesome. And they go, why are you just shy of awesome? I said, well, because if I'm already awesome, then I have nothing to look forward to. So I get that, man. Tracy, uh, homie, I went to school where he said, to try and be better, a better person than I was yesterday. Cool. Uh, Teresa said, to be able to take care of me. So it goes on and on. <laughs> this was funny. Melanie say, realignment of my knees with the Lord. I love that one. That means she's praying every day. She's motivated by that. And then a lot of people said, man, I'm motivated by my kids, by my grandkids, uh, these bills, family, self-motivated, progress, doing God's will, food. Yeah, a lot of people are motivated by food, you know, success in life, purpose, sleep, my four, again, kids. Uh, Jack, I can, Jack said drug, P90. And high credit score. That's what he's motivated by. So good luck with that, Jack. You know, hey, bro, I want you to have whatever it is that you want. But again, like I say, we're all motivated by something. And it causes us to, to it, it's that thing that gets us up. It gets us out of bed. We have a reason, a purpose to move. And if you don't have that, something wrong. You know, I know they say, I have low testosterone. I don't, I don't, I mean, hey, I'm suffering from low testosterone, too, so I don't feel bad. But we're still motivated to do something. We get up every day and we go to work. Why do we go to work every day? What's the purpose? We're motivated. I mean, do you love your job that much that just that's where you want to be instead of being at home? No, you go to work for a purpose. You're motivated to do something that you have to do. Yeah, some people work to live. Actually, you should just live to work, if that makes any sense. So you're motivated to get up and go to work to do what? to sustain the lifestyle that you have, to pay your bills, to pay your rent, to pay your life insurance policy, buy food for your dog, buy, you know, whatever it is, but you are motivated to go do that because this is what you're supposed to do. Okay. You're motivated to get up and take care of your kids because this is what you're supposed to, do, what you're supposed to do. You're motivated to go see about your parents because that's what you're supposed to do. But, I'm going to tell you something. There are four areas that drive people, four areas of motivation that drive people. And in those four areas are subsections of what motivates people, what they reason why people do things that they do. And you may not even realize that, you know, that's part of it. But like this, the first area is advancement. Yeah. Every, who doesn't want to be advanced? Who doesn't want to move up in life? Who doesn't want to do something more than what they're doing? You know, the four things there are the next promotion, completing tasks meeting deadlines, and reaching a goal as a team. Those are motivations under advancement. You know, trying to move somewhere in your life, trying to do something different, trying to move to, as the kids say, trying to get to that next level. And I get that. Because, I mean, if you hold a day job, you know, who wants to do, some people do want to do the same thing the rest of their life. Nobody wants, some people don't want to be a manager or a supervisor. They want to do this, and they cool with that. And uh, I didn't realize my microphone was way over there. Okay, there we go. That's better. So uh, some people are just cool with what they do. I get that. So the next area is called individual. Yeah, individual motivations, lifestyles. We all got our own particular lifestyles, you know. Uh, recognition, security. Yeah, that's true. I mean, don't get me wrong. People ask me, say, hey, man, how come you're not out there? If you're so funny, why aren't you out there full time doing comedy? I said, well, because... Comedy doesn't have a retirement plan until you get to a certain level. And I haven't got to that level yet. And then people go, oh, well, I guess if you are uh, working a day job and driving Uber, I guess you must not be as big as Kevin Hart. And I'm like, no, I'm not as big as Kevin Hart. And Kevin Hart will never be as big as I am either. So we're even. But we are motivated. Our motivations, you know, it's that individual motivation, you know, recognition, security. Who does, you know? Yeah, some people don't want to be recognized. Some people just are cool being off in the corner. So they're not motivated by that. But then some people do want to be recognized. Uh, security. Everybody wants to feel like their life is good, that everything is fine. So you're motivated to move forward or move in a direction to 
make sure you have the security that you seek for you and yours. I did not know this was actually an area of motivation, but it's called madness. Are you serious? Madness. Yeah. Madness is an area is that these people are to see unconventional factors as the best form of motivation. Wow. You know, uh, thanks Dave, you know, but madness under the area of madness is opposition. Yeah. Uh, these top performers need someone to get up, to go up against. They need opposition in certain environments. Um, Presenting these people with what their what their opposition can do will motivate them to perform at a higher level. So competition. That's the next one. Everybody likes to, you know, not everybody is a big thing of, of competition, but some people are motivated by competition. You know, trying to do what it is that he's doing or what she's doing. Won't you just do what you're doing? Focus on yours and be the best at what you do. Then guess what? Usually when you focus on you being the best at what you do, you outshine those who are trying to go above and beyond. And don't really know what the hell they're doing because see whether you realize it or not, most people in the high, most people that are in those higher uh, positions, they are operating at their highest level of incompetence. Figure that one out. Think about the supervisor. Like, hmm, that explains a lot. Okay. So, under madness also falls control. Power and fame. There, uh, there was a lot of people that said, "I want to go make my money because after making my money, I want to go run for governor, or I want to be able to have the power and the influence to be on the cover of Time magazine and make some big decisions." How about making some big decisions in your life? Yeah. How about that? How about you know being that? You know, paint, power and fame. I met another comedian. Well, I've been knowing them for years, and we took and we hung out, and they got the they got the fame and the and the. I won't say so much the fortune, but they got the fame. People know who they are. I mean, we were going different places. They're like, "Hey, ain't you? Hey, ain't you?" And then he was he and I was talking, and we was riding. And he says, "Longhorn, man, I love what you got, and I want what you have." And I'm looking at him going, man, that's the same thing. I want, you know, I want to be famous. I want to be known for my comedy and being a speaker and all those wonderful things. He goes, man, I want a family. I want people that love me. I want a home to come to, to come home to. And I'm like, wow, it blew me away. Yeah. So power and fame ain't always what it's cracked up to be, but it is a motivator. Proving others wrong. Some of y'all get off on this, on being right all the damn time. Oh, my God. Set yourself on fire. Ugh. But we need y'all. We need y'all to be right because sometimes we have to be shown what we're not doing or what we did wrong so that, therefore, we can be better. So, Yeah. Some people are motivated by that. Somebody, some people are motivated by being, by being that, but some of them take it a little too far. Like uh, white girl Becky, yeah, she just went a little too far with all that. So, anyway, the need to avoid embarrassment. <laughs> I have been so embarrassed in my life, but I can't say that it's been a motivator. But it's, it is a motivation for some people. Mastery. Mastery is a little different than control. Mastery is about being the best in all aspects. There isn't a technique, history lesson, or a new technology these people don't know about. It requires repetition and a lot of time. If mastery, if masters publicly uh, told you their schedule, you would be frightened of them 99.9% .9 of the time. People don't want to be a master because of the commitment. Masters are crazy. I call them the one up people. No matter what you have done in your life, they can one up you. If you said you had twins, they could say they've had twins in a dump in a dumpster while on fire. Yeah, y'all know them, but that's the mastery part. Be the best. We all want to be the best at something. That's the motivator. So how about we focus on being the best at being you, the best you that you can be? How about that? How about you be the best you? That's what we need. How about let that motivate you? Okay. I'm just saying. All right. Fourth area is purpose. Yeah. These people see something bigger than themselves as the best form of motivation. Purpose. History. P 
people are that are driven by history want to be remembered long after they're dead. I was I've been listening to this book by Dan Brown, and there was a passage in there that was uh, that said, you know, that the best way to be remembered after you're dead is do something good while you're alive, do something meaningful with your life, and that is truly a motivator. Leave a mark, you know. Don't just leave an insurance policy. Leave some good memories. How about that? Let that motivate you to be the best so that therefore you can be remembered well by your people who love you. How about that? Helping others. Yeah, I'm guilty. No, we didn't talk about my helpful Bob complex. Change. People are motivated by change. And change is a driving factor for some people. They want to change an industry, a process, the way we view the world, or even change what goals the team may leave, may have. Change as a motivator comes down to, to results and how you as a team leader help these change agents reach the results they are excited about. Yeah, I read the whole thing. But some people are afraid of change. Quite frankly, you have to have change in order to have progress because something has to be different. It has to be. And last but not least is enlightenment. Enlighten people as how can I get myself to be more enlightened by gathering information and data so I can help make better decisions. Once you provide them with the right knowledge, everything clicks and they drive growth, which is true. So it was too much for me to memorize. So yeah, I got it down on my little piece of paper. Be motivated. Be motivated about your life. Be motivated about your health. Be motivated about your family. Be motivated about your finances. Be motivated about something. But we are all motivated, whether we realize it or not, whether we accept it or not, we're still all motivated by something. Sometimes we have a little trouble finding that motivation. Like me, I've been trying to get into the gym, you know, for about three months now. Jim is right down the hall. Yeah, I wave at Jim every time I see him. Hey, Jim, he never speaks back. But I say, hey, Jim, you know, I need to get motivated. You need to get motivated. There's something in your life that you want to do. There's some things in your life you need to do. And there's got to be a catalyst. There's got to be something that's, that can get you moving in that direction. But the thing about it, though, is I just read the different areas of motivation. You get to pick one. You get to. Pick out what motivates you. Do some research online. Figure out what direction you need to go, what it is that you need to do to obtain your goals. It's not that hard. It's not hard to figure it out. The hard part is getting moving on it. So that's my message. Oh, y'all see, I'm rocking my sweatshirt. Yeah. Laughter has no color unless you have really funky breath, which is true. So, you know, I just got to tell people at my shows, if we can laugh together, then we can live together. So, And then, too, don't forget, there's uh, Laughter Has No Color Comedy Booking Agency. Me and my business partner, uh, Richard Ellison Peter, who's also a friend, brother, and a veteran. So, hey, that's the message. I hope everybody has, like I said, a great week. I'm always praying that you have a great week. I hope whatever you're trying to do, that you're motivated to get up and get it done, to move forward, to be uh to be the best you can be. Yeah, be Army. Be all you can be. That's right, baby. Yeah. I went to, that was weird. I went to Barry White. That kind of sounded like Barry. Maybe just a little bit. Anyway, so it's me. And we get, hey, Charlotte, there you are. So I'm getting ready to get up out of here. I thank you all for joining me on this Sunday. And I hope life is good. Life is going to be better because it always is, especially when you decide it's going to be. So keep God first. Believe in yourselves. Believe in yourselves. Take care of them babies. Take care of them babies. Take care of them kids. Respect our vets. I'm Longhorn. God bless y'all. Two dollars. <laughs>